Hi, I'm Brad from Big Family Homestead, and today I've got a quick video for you who may be riding the fence on chickens, whether or not you want to have chickens at your house or your homestead, and today we're going to look at some of the actual possible negatives with having chickens. So here we go. Okay, so as strange as this may sound coming from me, chickens may not be for everyone. My wife and I have had several long talks about the positives and the negatives, and we obviously really love having our chickens, but we wanted to go ahead and, and put a video out there so that you can be informed from our experience what the possible negatives might be. So here we go. All right, so first up on our list of possible negatives is what we're gonna call attachment. And what I mean by that is some people really get attached to their pets and they view them as members of the family. And well, the reality is that chickens don't live as long as dogs in most cases. There are some breeds that live a very long time. But if you're using your chickens as, you know, a homestead item where you're going to be needing eggs from them and at some point meat, well, they don't live generally past, you know, around five years. So if you have a problem getting super attached to your animals as pets, that might be a drawback. If you're the type of person who can't stand getting dirty and it really just bothers you, well, chickens might not be for you. Why? Well, you've got to clean up after them. And that does take a little bit of uh, getting used to in the beginning. So if you're the kind of person that just cannot stand being dirty, chickens might not be right for you. Now two and one work hand in hand together in a lot of ways, but I'm gonna go over two first, uh, and that is travel. The reality is that if you have chickens, you need to be there every day, twice a day minimum, to take care of them, to give them food and water, to make sure that you're collecting the eggs. There's work that has to be done on a daily basis. So if you like to travel, if you like to take vacations away, you're either going to need to find a neighbor who is capable and willing to help, or you might not travel as much. So that we did put on our list of negatives, possible negatives for chickens. Like I said, two and one go hand in hand, but without further ado, number one is work. And the reality is that you don't need to spend a ton of time on tending your chickens. We generally spend about 20 minutes a day for all day, like 10 minutes in the morning taking care of them, letting them out, getting them all set, uh, 10 minutes in the evening. Um, that's generally what we spend uh, on a daily basis when we're just not out there having fun, because they are a lot of fun. But then there's also the added uh, time when you have to clean out the coop. Well depending on how many chickens you have and, and uh, the amount of waste they produce. That may be an hour, a month, week, depends on the amount of chickens you have and, and how dirty they get. But the reality is that it does take work. It's not a lot of work, but there's work involved. And so if you cannot or do not want to invest that time, well, chickens may not be right for you. So like I said, there's really only four things that we could come up with that would be possible negatives for having chickens. That said, we are probably uh, a little more biased than the average person who has not had chickens because, uh, well, frankly, we really love having the fresh eggs and the fresh meat and all of those things and the help in the garden. So for us, chickens are a no-brainer, but we were trying to be fair, and so that is our opinion. So hopefully with a little thought and planning, you will be able to decide for yourself whether chickens are right for you. So if you like the video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. All those things really do help our family out. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an awesome day.